The College Park Airport in Maryland is not the only airport still struggling 10 years after the September 11th attacks. Airport manager Lee Sheik discusses the impact on airports nationwide post 9-11, as well as current restrictions. Every airport in the United States suffered after 9-11, if for nothing else than the collective paranoia that you had about airplanes. We have to remember that small airplanes weren't involved in the 9-11. Those were airliners that were involved. Most of the aircraft that land here weigh about half of what a normal SUV lands, weighs. You know. So we're not talking, in our judgment as small airplane advocates, we have sometimes a difficult comprehension of what kind of a threat we really are. But those are, those are questions, I guess, that are answered by, by the security people themselves. But every airport has suffered. Airports within 30 miles of Washington, D.C. have suffered the most. And that's about a dozen airports altogether. And those air, uh, airports now have restricted airspace around them. The pilots have to have certain qualifications to fly to them. The most severely impacted are College Park Airport and two other airports in the Washington area, Potomac Air Park and Hyde Field, both at, on the south side of Washington, D.C. The three of us are known nationwide as the Maryland Three, and we are the ones that have the red circle drawn around us on our maps. And you know that if you come here without a PIN number and without the correct procedures, that you will soon be joined by a couple F-16s that will take you to another airport and uh, find out what's going on.